Okay, welcome to the year 2020 and a time of absolute insanity. But amazingly, the game of chess is still going strong. When Faulty Towers has gone, Gone With The Wind has gone, and so many other things. But the game of chess that has white pieces and black pieces and a checkered black and white board is still available. And no one's crying racism. But what would happen if a white pawn took a black pawn and ended up in a black square? Would it be racist? What would ever happen if the black king was taken and check games over? Would that be white supremacies? You know, it is going way too far. Well, it has been going way too far and no one does a thing. Everyone just seems to accept it. So, oh, well, that's it. You've got to stop it before it goes too far. You know, the, what's wrong with the nursery rhyme, blah, blah, black sheep? You know, what is wrong with saying black coffee? I'm just not surprised you can't ask for a black plastic bag anymore. It just doesn't stop. Now, my mum came from India, my dad is English, so you can call me a racist, you can call me whatever you want. But for me, it just means nothing at all. It's just, you're racist for not saying anything now, which is absolutely insane. Now, Starsky, down here. He's black, but people say, if you don't have a black dog, you're racist. It's unbelievable how stupid you've become. And we're meant to be the most advanced, most intelligent of our time on the planet. We have all this technology, and just look, if you just stop for a minute and look how stupid this has become with everything. Now, you can say black power. If you say white power, you're racist. It's unbelievable. If you say all lives matter, and I mean all, animals, insects, everything matters, because you can't live without it. But if I say all life matters, I'm a racist. It's unbelievable.